Yes, hello viewers, it's Peter Elgar Photography again here with one of my treasures to show you. I'm running out of cameras now. <laughs> I've got so many I've shown you. But here is a 1950s Brownie 620 camera model D with flash contacts made in England by Kodak Limited. I think the factory that made it was Wimbledon. Now I was given this by a gentleman and he sent it to me in the post with some other stuff including the Minox I've shown you. The Brownie Model D is um, one which takes 620 and it takes 8 on a, fry, eight on a film. And here is the side view and here is a viewfinder and the um, view goes into here from the subject and you look into there and if you cup your hand round like that stop stray light you can see the image reflected in there and if you want vertical ones you look into here take vertical pictures and the light from the subject goes into this little window here and comes out there and like a single lens reflex carrying handle there's a um, flash contacts here but I've never used them because I haven't got a flash gun which fits. This is the infamous shutter release. And we put it onto instantaneous here. There. Every time you press it, it goes. So, you must remember to wind it on, otherwise you get double exposures. Now if you want time exposure, you pull this little lever here to B, and you hold it down and one a second, two a second, three a second and let it up again, that is a t time exposure device. It also has a close-up lens here. Now this close-up lens is not very close really. I found by experiment the closest it only works at is about five feet. People make the mistake of taking babies with these box cameras and they get dreadful out of focus pictures because they don't realise that the lens is a very simple meniscus lens and it won't focus too close. The usual distance you get for this little lens is um, 10 feet and over. When you pull out the so-called close-up lens, it pulls another lens in at the back of the um, ordinary one and you get it to about five feet but you can't come any closer than that unless you hold over the front a stronger lens which I've done. I have tried a three diopter close-up lens like that and that is a three diopter close-up lens and I've held that over the front and I've been able to come down to one third of a metre because a diopter is the inverse of the number in metres so three diopters is one over three so that is one third of a metre and one third into one hundred is well, do your maths 33.33 recurring sort of centimetres away so you, you take about 33 centimetres away and it gives you a sharp picture but you've got to hold it over. That's a three diopter close-up lens. Now on opening the back with the latch here you can see the film. Now this is six by nine centimetre nominal size but it doesn't measure it doesn't measure six by nine. We'll, we'll do a test here. That is only um. Look, oh, there's a film. It's only eighty-two. So it's not nine, is it? And it's only fifty-six across. So it's not that's not six centimeters, is it? So you're swizzled if you think it's six by nine format. It isn't. You get, it's a nominal size which people call 6 by 9 centimetres, but it's not, it's only 82. 
I knew it wasn't six that way, but I wasn't certain what the measurement was that way. So what is the focal length of this lens? It's about 100. Now if you measure from where the lens is recessed here to the film plane, we'll do it this side, and you'll see how what is the focal length of the lens. I think it's um, 10 centimeters alone for the fact that the film is there and your lens is about there it's 10 centimeters or 100 millimeter focal length that covers the so-called 6x9 format so how do you get the film out well you pull this little knob which is slightly broken and pull this inner one out and you'll find this is where you fit your film and it, it takes 620 film here's a spool which you latch onto and you put your film in here and it takes 620 well what is the difference between 620 and 120 this is a 620 spool and that's a 120 spool now these are like gold dust I did have loads and loads of them years ago, but they've all been thrown away. So I've only got two left. You have to buy them now. I've got loads and loads of these, 120, because everybody still uses 120, and it's fairly cheap, but 620, it's like gold dust. It's got a much thinner center core, and the hole here is much smaller than on a 120. That's much bigger there. And the 620 is much smaller. So if you're stuck and you've got a film which is two, 120, what do you do? Well, you roll, you re-roll it. Here we have a 120 film. Now this is a good year, a date in 1980. So we'll actually use it. And what you've got to do, you have to ro roll it off onto a, one, another 120 spool and then you re-roll it back onto your 620 so we'll see if we can do it here we are it's now going to hold a bit tightly make certain it's in properly start winding it and we'll see the film come in a minute there's the start mark with the film you'll see the film come inside the backing paper I'm going to sacrifice this film, folks, to show you. There we are. There's the film. Genuine film. Not a pixel in sight. Thank God. Real film. That's what, you, that's what you've got to deal with. Real film, folks. Here goes the numbers. Look. That's the 16 on. That's the 12 on. And this is the 8 on numbers. Here we go. Re roll that right round till the end when you find the free bit of film at the very end there we are it's just popped inside that's the loose bit now we have to be careful when you re reload that we do it correctly here's your sticky paper now don't stick that down because you're going to re-roll it so you don't stick it you now roll that onto a one onto a 620 spool here we are. You latch it onto your 620 spool. Now get the sticky paper nice and neat. Hold it with your thumb so everything is tight. Here we are, like that. Going onto the 620 thinner spool. Now watch for the watch for the bit of film. Of course, you have to do this in the pitch dark. You can't actually watch it because you'll fog the film if you do it in the light you've got to do it in the dark and feel for it I should have said feel not watch it make certain you feel and get that underneath there nice and neat without any crinkles so I'm doing it standing up it's easier sitting down then roll that back onto your 620 spool yeah, it's going now hopefully some you make got to take up any slack by holding the backing paper 
and then you will find hopefully at the, if it's nice and tightly rolled yes you will find it was re-wound onto a 620 that's slipping a bit look it's slipping a little bit there we are that is onto a 620 spool now you can insert this into your camera and it loads similar to the hassle blade it goes over the back over here like that down into your 620 spool here like that you've got to it's best if you take this out actually and load it just make it a bit tighter like that there we are because you've only got the backing paper the film hasn't appeared yet now that's a bit loose but the film is still still to come now you stick that in the back of your camera make certain you can see where you've got a latch on here into the little wind the mechanism here so it goes in um this way <laughs> don't see no it goes in now there we are <laughs> it goes in I, I forgot which way it goes in make certain that it's nice and tight there latch that over like that now you wind this and you watch in the numbering system here for number one to appear in the little red window so we wind it for about half an hour watching all the numbers come past oh there's some, something happening I can see something coming so it's Christmas they say oh some dots look I can see some dots watch carefully oh there's number one so you're ready for your first photo now here we are, take the first photo and put it under instantaneous. Oh, wonderful. And then wind it on again to number two. There we are. Now the problem with these, that's number two now. The problem with these is this shutter is only about one fortieth or thirtieth of a second. And you can easily get camera shake. So that's what happens with most of these box camera photographs people push it too hard and it gets camera shake everyone's not sharp well I've found that if you take off the front now see if I can do it without banging everything I found I could take off the front um, and we can stick other things onto it to get a faster speed and a smaller aperture now I did this all comes off. Here we are. It's all the workings of it. There we are. Here's your lens. That's your meniscus lens. It's only got one element. Now, if you want, you, you can stick a little circular bit of black paper in there and you can get a smaller aperture. This is all your reflex viewing. You can clean that now you've pulled it off. Clean that with the lens tissues or your reflex viewing. And these are the workings of the shutter. There we are. Yes. Nothing like the focal plane shutter. Now you put it onto beef a brief time. There we are. Then there's your hole where the light goes through. So what can you do? You can stick over that little um, moving shutter thing another piece of black paper, and you you can get a faster shutter speed if you like. I, I didn't do that, but I did stick a small piece of black paper over that lens there, and I've got a smaller lens aperture, so it stopped it down, because that aperture is only about f14, I think, about a fortieth of a second f14. And so you can get sharper pictures by sticking a make a smaller lens aperture now I've done some nice shots with this 
no use showing you the camera without any results. So here I now show you some results from this wonderful box camera. Now this is a picture that I took with this three diopter close-up lens and it's our little piggy belonging to my wife and then we got ice cream in the high street now that is with my close-up lens pulled out and I found it's sharp at about five or six feet away it's not you can't get any closer than that here's one of a young pianist now this is with flash so you can say how did I take the picture if it's not flash which will which I can plug in well I use the open flash method I open the shutter on B and I fired the flash manually and then I close the shutter again with the camera on a tripod and they are prints which I've done off of my digital digitalized 6x9 nominal negatives this was on Kodak very color film very very old which I processed myself so there we are that's the workings of the famous Kodak 620 model D box camera and I hope you've enjoyed it and look at some of my other videos and hopefully you'll subscribe to my channel thanks for watching folks